Hi! Today we're going to talk about one of the most fascinating concepts in philosophy, qualia. Qualia lets us journey into the depths of our minds and opens doors to that magical world we call consciousness. But can we truly explain what something feels like? For example, can you fully convey the experience of seeing a red apple to someone else? The answer to these questions lies within qualia. The meaning of qualia and explanation with examples. Qualia refers to the subjective and phenomenal qualities specific to how we experience something. Okay, let's make this more concrete. That special feeling you get when you see the color red, the taste and texture of chocolate on your palate, or the burning sensation you feel when you touch a hot surface. All of these experiences are unique to your mind and cannot be fully conveyed to others. This proves that qualia is an individual phenomenon. The philosophical significance of qualia. In philosophical debates, qualia is the focal point of the philosophy of consciousness and important arguments regarding the mind-body problem. There are two main views. Physicalism argues that qualia can be reduced to physical processes. Dualism claims that qualia is beyond physical processes, entirely subjective and irreducible. Now let's look at some philosophical experiments that question and deepen the concept of qualia. These experiments will show how fascinating and confusing philosophy can be. Philosophical thought experiments on qualia. The first is Mary's room experiment, proposed by Frank Jackson. At the center of this experiment is a scientist named Mary. Mary spends her entire life in a black and white room. But in this room, she learns everything about the physical properties of colors. For example, she knows exactly the wavelength of red, how it reflects on the retina in our eyes, and what chemical processes it triggers in our brain. One day, Mary leaves the room and sees a red apple. At that moment, we have to ask this question. Does Mary learn something new when she sees the color red? If you say yes, this proves that qualia is something separate from physical information. If you say no, then conscious experiences can be fully explained by physical processes. This experiment raises the question of whether qualia can be reduced to scientific knowledge. The second experiment, the zombie argument, was put forward by David Chalmers. This experiment brings up the concept of a philosophical zombie. Imagine there's a person in front of you. They talk, act, and give the same physical reactions as you, but this person doesn't feel anything in their mind. This is the concept of a philosophical zombie. The zombie argument questions this. If consciousness is entirely based on physical processes, why isn't a zombie conscious even though it has the same physical processes as us? This argument strengthens the dualist views that argue qualia cannot be reduced to the physical world. The third experiment is, what is it like to be a bat? Proposed by Thomas Nagel. In this experiment, Nagel tries to understand the world of bats. Bats perceive their environment through a method called echolocation. We humans cannot even imagine this type of perception because our world of experience is completely different. Nagel's basic question is, what is it like to be a bat? The answer to this question makes it impossible to access the qualia of bats because qualia exists only for the one experiencing it. Modern Discussions on Qualia at the intersection of science and philosophy, qualia is still a great mystery. Neuroscientists can explain the processes in the brain in detail, but the answer to this question has still not been given. How do all these physical processes turn into a conscious experience? Will science one day find the answer to this question? Or will qualia forever remain an unsolvable mystery of the human mind? Conclusion The Magic of Qualia Qualia leads us to a deep inquiry, not only philosophically, but also in understanding what it means to be human. If this topic interests you, you can share your thoughts by commenting below the video. Do you think qualia can be fully explained? Or is consciousness a mystery that transcends the physical world? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content discussing these philosophical topics. See you in the next video.